figures. Just extraordinary. Sort of off today, enjoying a little time with her family this week. And we're happy to welcome back Samara Theodore from our station here in Washington, D.C. WRC, nice to see you, Samara. Good morning. Happy to be here. And good morning to our friends at home this Saturday. Now, you know, we've got a lot going on in weather, especially in the eastern half of the country. So this morning, 16 million people are waking up to the potential for flooding out in the Tennessee Valley, even stretching down into areas uh, like northern Mississippi there and back into West Virginia. You all all under a flood watch this morning already starting to see that rain get going, pushing through Kentucky into West Virginia right now into parts of Washington, D.C., the New York tri-state area. Even, even You've got to also factor in the fact that we've had this snowpack in Tennessee that's melting. You top on there three to five inches of rain uh, stretching from parts of Texas right on into the Tennessee Valley and into West Virginia. Flooding is going to be a primary concern as we head through the weekend. Now, while we're dealing with a lot of strong storms in parts of the southeast and into the Tennessee Valley, we do have some record warmth that will be occurring in Florida as well. So that'll be nice. That's a look at the weather across the country. Let's see what's going on a little closer to home. And that's a look at your local forecast. Back to you, Kristen and Peter. Samara looking so pretty in pink this morning. Thank yes, you very indeed. Much. Still <laughs> the stakes for the women of Gilead. Take a look. Accurate than the others. Why? Because we built our own. And it's right here. Easier, faster, better, right? The NBC4 